Myself, got the GoPro already. You are already. <laughs> hey, up! I've seen that backside before. <laughs> it's a very attractive backside as well. Port Roost, lead up, man. He's back. <laughs> He's a little bit worn out and a little bit tired. Yeah, we've been going uphill for 50 minutes. Well. It's like 13 k We're taking Ed out and about on the local climbs, showing him a few of the lesser known roads. And uh, they tend to be the best. Yeah, we're in the start of autumn. Trees are starting to turn. Roads are quiet. A little bit chillier than when he was last year in July. <laughs> but as you'll see in a minute, absolutely stunning. Yeah, you've promised me a good one, so. I promised him now, so. I've got to, I've got to produce today. <laughs> I've not come all the way up for nothing. <laughs> I feel what I feel under pressure to be on the spot. I think he's going to see in a minute is actually what we got in store for him. Um, and we've got another two climbs to go today. Uh, Done. And then back up in the car, off to Croatia. Yeah, so real trip. Different view. Sunny beaches. Sunny beaches. Hopefully. <laughs> if he looks over his shoulder now. Oh, what? <laughs> that was worth it. Epic. Will that be the highest? Will that be the highest altitude we'd reach? So today it will be, yeah. Yeah, 1800. Well. 45 meter short, yeah. a little bit sad. It's just like the temperature's still okay at this height, but any higher would be well, I just drop me by. Oh well. Five yeah. second rule. <laughs> 30, 30 seconds. I'll go 30. <laughs> Look. The colours are absolutely insane. Like this is a great time of the year to come here, just autumn, like the views temperature the trees so nice so as you probably guessed I'm out here with Alp Cycles that's the dream team of AD and Shelley and they're looking after me well today anyway before we head to Croatia getting shown around having a wonderful time so if you're new to the channel or haven't seen some of my videos this year the dude I'm riding with Eddy, he's responsible for that thermonuclear attack I did in the hot route at the bottom of Altuez. Oh, my vertigo is playing havoc with me, <laughs> but I am enjoying this ride. I'm enjoying it. Such a nice break to come away and to do something like this. Aid and Shelley, who are the dynamic duo that are Alp Cycles. So if you're familiar with that name. When I came to do the Hort route earlier this year, Charlie and myself, we stayed with them at the top of Alpe d'Huez and they helped us during the event. Their support was invaluable. But it's not the only thing they do, of course. They do little getaways. If you're looking to come out here and ride these roads, they do that as well. AD said just now, we're here for something else other than just riding around these fabulous roads. We're heading to Croatia in a couple of days and we're doing the Istria 300 which is, well there's three different routes but basically a video coming soon of us tackling 300k around Croatia and I've been there twice before to actually race and it's incredible so I'm looking forward to going back 
Daniel. All the way now. <laughs> yeah. Can't do that in wheels. I just thought that I can't be this straight the whole way. <laughs> Whoa, it's warm now. We're like three hours into a ride and it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. It's like 20, 22 degrees. <clears throat> a bit of a stark contrast to what we had at the start of the ride. Edie's back down the mountain somewhere because I went off to do an effort. So I'll have to Link must have right below and you can see the climbs. This is virtually like the last climb of the day. And I don't know, I'd probably say it's got the best sun. It's got, I think the views this side are just intense, like really awesome. But if it wasn't for AD, I obviously wouldn't find them. So obviously AD knows these roads like the back of his hand. They've been living out here for a long time, over a decade, but you'll see lots more from AD over the next coming days as we obviously hang out and he's like my, he will be my cameraman for a couple of days I hope. <laughs> and I think my highlight of today has been like surfing his wheel on the descents because obviously he knows them and knowing that you know he won't put a foot wrong and the roads are like really like they're really confidence inducing. Hey, yep. They tell me where to go. Head lava rack. This way. Whew. Did I stop short of the segment? Probably. <laughs> you know me, I don't know where the segment is. I did the first block that I said I would. And then I went into the over and unders and I was like, ooh. Warmer. And it's a long it's longer than I thought. I was just saying, even the short climbs are long. Yeah, I mean, it's still 4K and it's still- Yeah, still 60, 20 mostly, odd minutes. Mostly 8%. That's a good one. Our last 2,000 meters climbed in three and a half hours and 80K, so 50 miles. I knew you'd be up here. Happy game, Antonora. Good day out. Well, of course, yeah. 